namaste pisces sun moon rising venus welcome back welcome if you're new i miss you guys so much i'm so happy to be back this is a love reading um all i can say is stay tuned to the end because it took me some time to make this spread it's gonna be pretty intimate okay it's gonna be juicy all about the person that's on your mind pisces sun moon rising venus let's see what they want to say to you what do they want to say to you what do they want to say to you pisces oh my goodness it, this almost makes me want to like stop the video and start over again karmic interference like what <laughs> this card literally came up in another reading there okay the world is not full of scandal okay i don't know what this is pisces i don't like that that's the first card but you know this person could just feel like they have to share you with other people especially if it's work they could just feel like there's always someone involved in a situation where they can't get your attention and own your attention okay this person wants your attention they want you to be focused on them it doesn't matter who it is or what's going on hopefully they could be a little empathetic stalker alert i'm checking up on you often <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, they're a huge fan of yours. They love everything about you is what I'm hearing. Everything about you is different from this karmic partner, this lower vibration. Karma is not necessarily good or bad. It just is what you do over a, over a period of time. Okay, but karmic energy, karmic partner interference, that's another person's energy, all right, that is entwined. Um, I pretend like I don't care, but it's quite the opposite. My feelings for you are a little bit obsessive. Whoa. All right, seriously, I, I'm not even trying to be funny. <laughs> I, I, I don't know protect yourself do i need to do anything is there something i could do because we got stalker alert and then a little bit obsessive if you feel like your life is in danger in any way pisces please you know seek out the law enforcement wherever you are because this is kind of crazy on the other hand i mean this person could be telling you that this karmic interference isn't a big deal because they're obsessed with you that karmic interference could be their work it could be long distance it could be a myriad of situations please take what resonates please remember that this is a general collective reading okay so let's get one more for what they what do they want to say to you i'm i'm actually channeling i'm picking up with my clear audience so I know you are my soulmate babe our bond is magnetic i'm seeing all the signs so this person is definitely seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities when it comes to you when it comes to your connection they could be getting blessed out of nowhere opportunities to see you or spend time with you maybe opening up for this person they just feel like no matter what you guys are going to work it out because you're kind of meant to be and I'm also seeing um, signs, seeing sign, all the signs. I really do. I'm seeing the seven 
of cups in my third eye so i definitely feel that this person is imagining wanting to see these signs okay so they're like big upping you when it comes to the universe because they just want to create some sort of connection or link to the two of you okay um let's see if we can just tap into their intentions for our next question okay pisces if you like this don't forget to press like it really helps me so much when you do that right let's see what are their current intentions for the next six months okay the next six months maybe to a year but just keeping it lighthearted in case you guys just met all right and Pisces, if you're single as a as a Pringle, let me know down in the comments, okay? So, what are their intentions? What are their current intentions towards you? Wow, forgiveness and healing. So, yes, they want to be around for a while. Maybe this karmic interference kind of hurt you, kind of put a riff in your connection. Something happened for sure. And they're just like, yeah, forgiveness and healing for them. Kind of not being around in a little bit, in a way, right? Like, I pretend like I, I don't care. So forgive them for that. Forgive them for pretending like they don't care about the connection but i'm also getting that for some of you it's like forgive me for like this extra sensory energy that you have to deal with you know that can be a lot recurring thoughts um they're 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 intention they think about you a lot and they intend on including you in their life you mean a lot to them yeah you mean a lot to this person and they just want you to forgive them so that they can figure out something in the future. Maybe things are up in the air. Maybe you haven't spoken to them. Maybe you are speaking to them, but there's certain things you don't talk about. I mean, it can go in so many different directions here, but their current intentions, at least for the next month, is to figure out what's on your mind. Talk to you and even if this is new, get to know you on a deeper level, okay? They want to know a lot about you, if not everything. Um, they they might want to humble you financially because we have the self-abundant in reverse. It was in reverse. So their current intentions are to make you feel like, okay, you might have money, but I still have a little bit more than you. Or maybe your ideas are not on point. So just make sure when you're talking to them about finances, they want to give you financial advice, okay? They want to tell you, like, what's going on with your finances, like, why you're having these problems. Or if you're not having problems, how you could expand your money. It might turn you off, but just let me know how that conversation goes all right pisces i'm just saying why am i hearing somebody want to be your daddy i don't know how you feel about that you might be like really can you really be my daddy i don't know um okay freedom in reverse well i all right okay self-abundant and freedom in reverse i don't need to say anything else i kind of feel like this person wants you to be in the house like what the hell yeah i'm just saying if you don't want to be in the house if you don't want to be tied down then maybe you need to like talk about like girls night kind of incorporate incorporate that in your relationship also too they might put a hold or a handle on your finances this could be finances as well they could feel like you know you need to like they're, they're gonna help you figure out and manage your money i'm just saying it could go in, in, in many different directions but with that being said let's see how you feel about them let's see what's your vibe what's your energy who is this person let's get some more psychic intuitive messages for you my sweet pisces okay let me know if you have Mercury and Pisces down in the comments. Okay. Um, 
You feel like this person is a throwback. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like I would say that. Like, even if this isn't an ex, they just remind you of the type of energy you would always go back to. Like, you just feel like this person is really comfortable. And, yeah. I mean, for some of you, you, you could have, like, not talked to them or seen them in a while. And, like, now they're popping back up into your energy. Eight of Cups in reverse. Could be dealing with another... Pisces. We also have Cancer Scorpio. How are you feeling about this person? Wow. You feel like it's a blessing to know them. Legit. Um, you could also feel like this person came out of nowhere and for some of you i'm hearing if this person is stalking you you love that like they're perfect this is a will of fortune whatever it is that this person you just feel like they're a great catch you also feel like a lot of other people want them and that makes you more intrigued by them wanting to be with them hopefully this person is available but if they're unavailable that makes them even more attractive to you could be dealing with a sagittarius a taurus a Leo Scorpio here with this Wheel of Fortune. Okay, let's see. How are you feeling about this person? Oh, okay. You feel like this person in the past, maybe they left you out in the cold. Maybe they don't make the time for you that you want them to make for you. Or you could just kind of feel like, Maybe this person came from humble beginnings. And wh why am I hearing this? Like, I'm going to say it because that's what I'm hearing. What do they know? What can they tell you? Okay. You can feel like this person is out of place when it comes to certain things in your life. Or you feel like you want to keep them. You don't want to share everything with them. You know what? You Pisces always got some shit. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to show you. So, we do have the Empress in reverse. I don't know if this is really the energy that, was, that I was feeling coming through. But, yeah, at times, you could feel like this person is selfish, okay? The Empress in Reverse is just, she's not a good mother. She's not divine. She is a hot mess, all right? Doesn't matter if you're dealing with a masculine or a feminine. Could be dealing with a Libra. Also, could be dealing with a Taurus, all right? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Yeah, you just kind of feel like, <sighs> we're not doing this anymore, Especially, or, or they could be insecure. Yeah, if you want your freedom, their insecurity could be turning you off because it's like you want your freedom. You want to be free. You want to be free to do whatever you want to do and go wherever you want to go. Yes, that's you on the bottom of the deck with that Queen of Swords energy, okay? Yes, you might be a Pisces, but it's like your thoughts are, at this moment, they're, they're pretty fucking serious, okay? Listen, we do have that full moon in Scorpio coming up and it's all about transformation. So, you know, it's just like there you 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 definitely are you have high expectations for this connection. So, let's just see how they're feeling about you. I cannot wait to see that. I cannot wait to see how they're feeling about you and this connection right now. Yes. Okay, Pisces. How are they feeling about you? How are they feeling about this connection? Who is this person? And how are they feeling about you? Wow, stressing. Nine of Swords, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. This person is cerebral. This person's constantly in their head. They're losing sleep over the situation. They're a little bit more shaky. We do have the Two of Cups, so I will acknowledge this. I did see this. And this deck is a little bit, like, this is a highly advanced deck that I'm using. So for me to see this card in the position that I saw it, it really stood out and it took my attention. So I feel that, you guys, this person feels like you really stand out. 
there's something like you you get them and they get you on all levels they do wish that the communication could be a little bit better swords also represent communication but i'm also hearing that you know that's po possibly their fault and if they are checking up on you, checking up on your social media with the stalker alerts they could be getting mis miscon misconstrued um perceptions of you and expectations of where this could possibly go you know what i'm saying so i just feel that right now yeah they do I look at that 11 11 look at that okay <sighs> the emperor's out again like i feel like this emperor has come up in almost every reading this person feels like they need to step it up i guess my subscribers just have super high vibrational frequency energy and they're you're, you are to be respected to this person. It's kind of funny that we got the Empress in reverse for how you feel about them. So, yeah, they, they're they no match for you spiritually. You're teaching them something. You're showing them something. Maybe they, you know, marry the wrong person. And now it's like, you know, their life has been turned upside down. There is something that's off with this person. And they feel like you are the complete opposite of what that energy is. And it's just like, dang, you know, I'm learning so much from them. I'm growing so much through them. What's next? And you are forcing them to change in a lot of ways. There's something about your energy that is forcing them to change. Okay, that's how they feel about you. Let's pull another one and see how are they feeling about you, my dear sweet Pisces. For some of you, yeah, they could be feeling sad. I'm not going to take that. It just, maybe, you know, it's going to take some time. Judgment. They do feel like, yes, some sort of choice decision has to be made. Or there could be obstacles in the way. You know, sometimes when I see this emperor and I see this, the way that I'm looking at this, this could be some sort of for forbidden love situation. Or this could just plain and simply be, like, <sighs> someone like, not seeing you and then all of a sudden they see you but when they're seeing you is it too late you know because they do kind of feel like they're like you're so many many light years ahead of them they feel like you have it all figured out so it's like where do they fit in how are you going to feel about them even their parenting skills are coming up this person definitely is giving me a little bit of insecure energy really strong air energy coming through we have the King of Swords, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy is coming through. They feel like your boundaries are pretty solid and that there's this force field of intuition. I'm seeing like your intuition is on point when you tell them something, when you say something. It's like you seem to have all these things figured out and they're just looking at you like, how did you do this? How are you able to accomplish this okay for some of you this could be a same sex situation it doesn't have to be but i'm just noticing this here is standing out for me and for some of you yeah definitely with this empress card in reverse i do get the the vibe that someone here is in some sort of unhappy connection or unhappy relationship okay those are just some sidebar messages that are coming through so i hope that whoever that's for you can find some sort of balance how else is this person feeling about you and then we're going to get some advice for pisces they do want to work on this situation they want to be around and for some of you, you may even work with this person or you share the same ideals. They want to get on the same page with you over, overall. If there has been any boundaries that you put up between you and them or if you have had to like distance yourself from this person, okay? We got the three of pentacles and that's a really good thing. For some of you, you could be seeing this person or making plans to see them or hang out with them within the next three to... Three weeks, that's what I'm hearing, the next three weeks, maybe three months for some of you, but let's just get some advice. Advice for my dear Pisces. Don't forget to press like, share, subscribe if you feel guided to. It really helps me when you do that and click that notification bell, Pisces. Thank you so much. 
So let's get some advice. What do you need to know about this situation? Just some extra clarity. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Yes, you guys may be from different backgrounds, different cultures. There could be an age gap. There could be religious stigmas. There could be so many things that you don't have control over. Some of you could be seeing 222. Just know that the time that you have invested, it's not a waste of time. I'm seeing these seeds being planted and I'm seeing you walking barefoot, okay, getting out in nature and just trusting and allowing, remembering who you are, remembering that you live in a simulation and your thoughts create your reality by the thoughts that you are thinking, okay? That's the wave, that's the vibe. Pisces, I'll see you guys soon in your next reading. Until then, namaste, peace and love.